Okay, so what if you could get a masterclass in healthcare innovation? And, I mean, straight from the people who are actually shaping national policy and building the next big thing in medical tech. Well, there's a YouTube channel doing just that, and today we're going to break down exactly how they're delivering these incredible insights to the entire world. The channel is called Israel Healthcare Highlights, or IHH for short, and right from the get-go, their mission is super clear. It's not about just throwing dry data at you. It's about sharing the stories, the inspiring stuff, and introducing you to the people behind these incredible medical breakthroughs. So what is IHHI at its core? Well, it's a nonprofit, and you can think of it like a bridge. It takes this really specialized, high-level knowledge from the front lines of medicine and policy, and it makes it accessible to pretty much anyone, anywhere, who's just curious about what the future of health looks like. All right, so who's actually sharing these insights? Now, this is where the channel, you know, it really shines. It gives you this unparalleled access to the people who aren't just talking about healthcare. They're the ones actively shaping it every single day. I mean, you get to hear directly from figures like Professor Notchman Ash. This is the former top physician in Israel's entire Ministry of Health. He gives you this rare, super high-level perspective on everything from national health strategy to, you know, how to manage a global pandemic. And it's not just policymakers. The channel also brings in top academic leaders like Professor Rivka Karmi. As the founding president of the National Academy of Science and Medicine, she offers these really deep insights into that critical link between brand new research and how it actually helps patients. Then you get the provider's perspective. You've got Professor Ron Belitzer, who's the chief innovation officer for Israel's largest healthcare provider. He's on there explaining exactly how they're rolling out these cutting edge AI systems across their whole network. Really practical stuff. And to round it all out, you get perspectives from visionary entrepreneurs, people like Levi Shapiro. This is the guy who's right at the center of building the country's largest health tech community. He's the one connecting the big ideas, the capital and the talent. So when you have this incredible access to such a diverse group of experts, what happens? Well, it means the topics they cover are just impressively broad. The channel really spans the entire healthcare ecosystem, from huge big picture policy decisions all the way down to the code that powers high-tech AI. The interviews really dig into these fundamental policy questions. I mean, they explore everything from how the nation decides which new drugs to pay for to the importance of health literacy and even something as specific as how to formally train doctors to be effective managers. OK, take the health basket process, for example. It's this remarkably transparent system for making what are, let's be honest, really tough ethical decisions about where to put money in healthcare. IHH just breaks it all down, step by step, showing how a country can decide which new technologies to fund. The channel also does a deep dive into the ecosystem that makes Israel such a powerhouse in health tech. The interviews explain how this unique mix, we're talking 30 years of digitized health data, government support for clinical trials, and really good access to capital, how all that comes together to create this amazing fertile ground for innovation. And this central theme is captured perfectly in a quote from Levi Shapiro. He says, every health tech company in Israel is an AI company. That just perfectly underscores how essential artificial intelligence has become, all thanks to that incredible data pool we just talked about. But you know, it's not all about high tech and AI. The discussions also get into these really critical public health concepts that affect all of us, like the nutritional swamp. It's such a powerful term for understanding how our environment, and not just our willpower, is a huge driver of the modern obesity epidemic. The channel also delves into some fascinating history. For instance, IHH traces the origins of a national child health program all the way back to an idea from 19th century France. It's a great example of how great ideas can cross borders and evolve over time to become nationwide standards of care. So here's the crucial point. This isn't just some niche channel for a local audience. Nope, this highly specialized content is finding a really significant and growing international viewership. Since it launched, the channel has steadily built up this substantial library of more than 50 expert interviews that's created a really rich and growing archive of knowledge that you can just dive into. And those interviews, they've generated over 45,000 views. That shows there's a strong and growing global appetite for these kinds of in-depth conversations about health and medicine. And just look at where those viewers are coming from. The channel's reach is truly global. Of course, Israel and the U.S. are at the top, 
but there's significant viewership from places like India and Morocco and tons of other countries, too. It just proves how universal and relevant these topics really are. Okay, so after looking at the experts, the topics, and the global audience, what's the big takeaway here? Why does a channel like Israel Healthcare Highlights actually matter? Well, it really boils down to four key things. First, you get direct access to world-class experts, no filter. Second, you can explore incredibly diverse topics, everything from AI to public health. Third, the interviews are packed with actionable lessons, real ideas that can be applied to shared challenges anywhere in the world. And finally, at the end of the day, it serves as a platform for collaboration, kicking off a truly global conversation. Ultimately, the real value of a platform like IHH is its potential to spark new ideas across borders. It leaves us with a really powerful question to think about. When top experts share their stories directly with the world, what could we all learn?